into a slow and productive Saturday in my life. My body right now is finding its rhythm between eight and nine in the morning, which I'm not really a fan of, and I know I need to start taking steps to remedy this. I'm trying the new products that I was gifted by Fenty Beauty from when I was in LA and went to the event with my homegirl Jasmine. So far, I'm really loving the smell of these products. I'm not sure what the scent is, but it's absolutely delicious. Since getting back into a regular routine, my body has been extra sore lately because I'm working out at a much higher frequency than I've been the past month. So right now I'm finding it very important to do regular stretches and daily walks to really start my day and get rid of the lactic acid buildup. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about my goals my life, and just everything I'm striving for. As you might know, I like to set goals for myself and work on ticking them off, whether it's how many dates I wanna go on in a year, how many books I wanna read, or even my goal with my weightlifting numbers. I like to set very specific goals and realistic small steps to achieve them. But if I'm being honest with myself, I only create these small steps and specific goals with the hopes of doing them daily and thus building and creating habits that hopefully will last me a lifetime. With the dating, for instance, I may have a goal to go on 15 dates in a year, and if I tick them off, then great, but that's not really the point. The point of the small goal is just to get me being more social and to then ultimately help me find love and a life partner. And it's the same thing with my fitness goals and lifting goals. Sure, it'll be awesome if I can squat 275 or if I hit a certain number on the scale, but achieving those things aren't the real point for me. The overarching purpose would be to feel and look strong, to be comfortable in my skin, and to prove to myself that I can do hard things and change my life if I work hard enough. I think James Clear said it best. True long-term thinking is goalless thinking. It's not about any single accomplishment. It's about the cycle of endless refinement and continuous improvement. And with achieving something as big as leveling up your life and changing your circumstances, it is your commitment to the process that will determine your progress. So I wanted to talk a little bit about my diet and I know I'll have upcoming videos with a grocery haul and some more cooking videos and fun stuff like that. But with me really trying to grind this year and this season, like drop the remainder of this weight, do my powerlifting competition, like there's so much that I want to do. And I feel like I'm in such a great place right now, just knowledge wise, experience wise, and even willpower wise. So I'm going to be cleaning up my diet really the month of December. Still being flexible, but being more intentional about being going to cut. I know over the last year, of course, I was getting comfortable reading my body, reading the cues, learning what to eat, learning discipline, and just proving to myself that I can lose weight. Because <laughs> I had really gotten to a place where I had started to doubt myself. But I lost 40 pounds over the course of a year, which is fantastic. It's so, so great. And now I just want to continue it and just hit it even harder and just push even more. So that way I can see results that I've never seen before. So I plan to clean up my diet just a little bit. Still going to allow room for flexibility. Still going to go out on occasion, but I'm going to be tracking my calories and making a point to increase my protein intake and just making sure I'm getting in more greens and more veg. So we went shopping today. I got some of the typical things, chicken breast, asparagus, sweet potatoes, and a couple other things that I like too. I'll make sure to have a grocery vlog going forward and talking more about my diet and what I plan to do. But yeah, I just wanted to run to the store today to prepare some some stuff for breakfast. Hey you guys, what is up? I am eating breakfast right now. 350 grams of egg whites. I'm really trying to get rid of these egg whites. 
Mm, this is breakfast. Right now, I just want to take some time to like plan out my day. Really just getting into routine. Well, I've actually kind of been in routine for a while, but hitting the gym pretty regularly. But other than just the gym, I need to get other things into routine, just my life and stuff. And there's other habits that I'm trying to build, trying to keep up and maintain that make me feel my best that uh, I want to make sure I'm hitting daily as well. And what's crazy is that when I'm going to the gym and I'm going as hard as I am and I'm there for like two hours a day almost, like every single day, so many other things can fall off because it's so exhausting and hard on the body. And I mean, I rest when I need to rest. I sleep like eight plus hours every single night, but I still, you know, especially with the sunlight, like planning out my days is so important because the sun is setting right now around 4.35 PM. And it's only going to be setting shorter and shorter as winter goes on. And so, trying to make sure that I go to bed at a certain bedtime, that I get up early enough to maximize like the sunlight, honestly, and just keep up with everything I need to keep up while I'm still making sure I hit the gym with the intensity that I wanna be hitting it and stuff right now. So I'm gonna eat breakfast, kind of make my little plan and talk you guys through um, just productive habits that help me have a productive life. I feel like I'm gonna say productive way too much right now. And one of the most productive things that um, I do right now is habit stacking. Trying to change existing habits or introducing new ones and actually making them stick is very, very challenging. So the idea of habit stacking is to make changing your habits a bit easier by adding on the new habit onto something you already do. By clustering the habits you want to develop on top of habits that are already formed, you stand a better chance of remembering the new ones and keeping them up. For example, I started a new mobility routine since I'm getting into calisthenics and I wanna do handstands and stuff, right? So now, instead of trying to find an extra 15 minutes in my day to do this mobility work, I just decided that I would do these stretches as I watch TV before dinner. And this has really been working for me. I love television, y'all. I watch so many shows. I'm that girl hyped about Game of Thrones. I rewatch Avatar in the office at least once a year. <laughs> like, there isn't a day that goes by where I'm not watching at least one TV show. And so now, instead of just sitting and watching TV or sitting and eating dinner, I'm sitting and also doing the stretches and the new mobility routine that's gonna help me hit this goal of doing a handstand. This way, I'm killing two birds with one stone and I'm also now associating my TV time with time to stretch. I know habit stacking in this particular example sounds really small, but that's kind of the point. It should be small. Making changes and building habits are really hard to keep up, especially if they're super drastic. All right, super potatoes in the oven, chicken in the air fryer, got some chicken thighs, and crap. Oh, asparagus. And I got some asparagus that I'm gonna make. I tell you that some of these sweet potatoes did not make it out alive. <laughs> Don't be like me, okay? I mean, these look pretty good, but they're a little more crispy than I want to, like I have to admit. This chicken looks mouth-watering, freaking fantastic. And I should have put the asparagus in 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so it could be finished on time too, but whatever. It does cook quickly. We're just heating up the olive oil right now. Oh, so excited for this dinner! Oh! Dinner is served. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God, drooling, drooling. This is gonna finish off my calories for today. We're just under 1600, so good day.
Tell them 